Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. Since my last video where we talked about the 12 volt lighting system, where I have the 12 volt step down from my 24 volt battery bank, which you see right there, um, I've had a lot of inquiries as to some of the other things I'm doing with this 12 volt step down. So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the items on the top part of my solar system right here and how I'm using this 12 volt step down to do some other cool things. So if this is something that you'd like to watch, hang out, we'll get right into it. Welcome to the channel where we talk about solar power, web technology, and life stories. If these are interesting topics to you, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we have new videos. So again, thanks for joining us and we hope that you enjoy the video. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the iPad where I actually draw on a picture that I've taken from that 24 volt to 12 volt step down system so that I can easily explain it. So without further ado, let's take a look at the iPad screen here as I draw this out for you. So as we're looking here, this right here is the 24 to 12 volt step down. And that is in the system here. Uh, and let's draw this line that you see right here is going to the batteries that are down there. And this line that you see right here is the negative part of the battery that you see. And so this unit right here is the step down. Now from there, we have the 12 volts that are coming into this fuse block. That's the positive. And then here's the negative coming into the fuse block there on the negative. So that's how that wires there. And then you'll notice that on the fuse block, which is this system right there, we have the fuses and then we have the positive of each appliance and then the negative of each appliance. Now this positive and negative that you see right here, this goes out to power the 12 volt lights that you um, saw in my last video. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. That's a pretty good video. I've had some good comments on it. Now, what I'd like to show you is some really fun stuff that we've done here uh, with this um, step down. Now, right here, this little guy right here is a Raspberry Pi that I'm using Victron uh, to Victron Connect to remote monitor my system. I'll be doing a video on that here shortly. But this used to plug in right here that would go directly to my inverter, which you see, oh, you don't see it, sorry about that. So this was plugged directly into my um, inverter, so it was drawing AC power. Well, this little guy that you see right here is a $13 DC to DC uh, converter that goes to micro USB. So as we look at this, I have the negative there and then the positive there. And then from that, it goes into this little inverter, right? 13 bucks, link in the description below. And then from there, this comes down over here and powers the USB to my Raspberry Pi. So I'm running the Raspberry Pi completely off of 12 volt DC power. So that is super, super cool. Now the next thing that I'm running off of this, and I'll be doing a video on this guy as well, which is this unit right here, which is my internet connection that I have here in my solar shed. This is all run off of cellular. And so it also has, uh, so here's the cellular antennas and then here's the Wi-Fi. So all of my devices inside the shed can connect to the internet. And this, uh, this whole unit is persistent and stays on. Anyhow, not the point of this video. We'll get into that next time. But you'll notice right here that I have this unit plugged directly in to the fuse block. So not only is my Raspberry Pi over here and my cellular router over here all being run off of this fuse block, 
using 12 volt DC power directly from this step down coming from my battery bank, as well as, as we mentioned before, the lighting, which is all 12 volts. And go ahead and watch that video. But super, super cool. The things that you're able to run off of 12 volts uh, that pretty much can power anything you'd like. So anyways, just the cool thing about solar is, man, there's so much to learn and so many things that you can apply to your everyday lives running off of clean energy directly from the sunshine. And here in Arizona, man, we get a lot of sunshine. And so it makes it even that much more fun. Subscribe to the channel because in the next videos, we're gonna be talking about that Raspberry Pi and how I'm making that work. And we'll be talking about my cellular uh, Wi-Fi router as well that I use. So everything in this shed, including this video that you're watching right now is completely run off of solar. So pretty cool stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.